Hello everybody and welcome to Euro Channel. Recently, I introduced you to my triple therapy for erectile dysfunction that has been the new feature in 2024. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to one of the treatments. This lube sends out a very special kind of magnetic field. It is so new that only a few doctors have heard of it, but it could be the secret ingredient to a successful therapy. The name of the therapy, Extracorporal Magnetotransduction Therapy, EMTT. My name is Stefan Buntrock and I'm a board-certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. So, how does it work? The machine produces a strong magnetic field. The loop distributes this field into the target tissue. Okay, magnetic therapy is not new. It has been literally around for ages. In ancient Egypt and Greece, they used magnetic stones for healing purposes and magnets play a role in traditional Chinese medicine. Mankind never really stopped exploring magnetism for healing purposes. Modern day medicine introduced pulsed electromagnetic fields, PEMF. You may know these devices. You sit in a special chair that emits electromagnetic fields to your pelvic floor muscles. Well, EMTT is something like that. But there is an important difference that separates it from the rest. It is much more powerful. Now you may ask yourselves, so what? If we have something that works already, why coming up with a new device? And the answer is, because the literature on PEMF has been contradictory. In some studies, it worked. In other studies, treatment outcome was poor. Okay, let me put this into perspective. Deferring outcomes between studies are the usual thing. There are several reasons for that. We are talking about study design, inclusion criteria, statistical power, and so on. So when planning for a clinical study, it doesn't hurt to be smart. Otherwise, you risk falling into one of the usual traps that science sets for you. One of the explanations for PEMF not being a total success may be that the emitted electromagnetic fields are too weak in their properties. EMTT differs from PEMF in three important parameters. The magnetic power of a single electromagnetic impulse is eight times stronger. We are talking about 80 milliteslas as compared to 10 milliteslas. 10 milliteslas are considered the minimum dose required to produce a detectable effect. For creating biological effects, the so-called electromagnetic transduction and the impulse frequency are the other two parameters. Electromagnetic transduction is the process where energy from a magnetic field is transferred into the body's tissues. That triggers changes at the cellular level, like improved blood flow and tissue repair to help the body heal itself. PEMF devices have a transduction of less than 60 kiloteslas per second, whereas EMTT crosses that threshold. Frequency of the impulse is important, because higher frequencies translate into a higher energy transfer. EMTT generates one impulse every 7 microseconds. PEMF is much slower. It needs 280 microseconds for one impulse. So, what do we currently know about EMTT and erectile dysfunction? If you like this video, please show your appreciation. In the real world, you would normally clap your hands and applaud at the end of my talk. In the digital world, applause is thumbs up and subscribing. Only 3% of my viewers are subscribers. To me, it feels that only 3 people in a room of 100 clap their hands. I've never seen that happen in real life in none of the hundreds of talks and lectures I've given. Subscribing and liking doesn't cost you anything, but it will show me your appreciation for my work. Through your subscription, you can have a positive impact on my life. Thank you. Science-wise, we don't know anything about it. There is no study targeting this research question. However, we know a few things on EMTT and on the effects of magnetic fields on tissue, also on erectile tissue. We know that magnetic therapy promotes cellular activation. 
This means it brings about positive changes in cellular behavior. It triggers the formation of new blood vessels and increases the release of nitric oxide. All of this is crucial when it comes to treating erectile dysfunction. Tissue regeneration adds to the picture. This year, a study was published on erectile dysfunction and flat magnetic stimulation, FMS. FMS is another new form of magnetic treatment which remained rather obscure to me in my research for this video. I couldn't find out anything about its energetic properties. However, this study showed a notable improvement in erectile function from FMS therapy alone. It was a very small study though, so in my view it would serve as a pilot study. FMS is not the same as EMTT, but they share the magnetic principle of action. In my daily practice, by combining EMTT with low-intensity shock waves and platelet-rich plasma this year, I saw some remarkable results. EMTT for ED is completely painless and has no known side effects. The fact that you don't feel anything is a disadvantage. It makes patients doubt its efficacy. Two weeks ago, I witnessed an impressive demonstration of what EMTT is capable of. A friend of mine called me because of disabling lower back pain. I'm a urologist, but so I am the only doctor he knows. I thought, okay, let's give it a try with EMTT. When he came to my office, his wife had to take him because he couldn't drive himself. It took him forever from the car into my office because walking was very painful. After treating him for 45 minutes with EMTT, he got up and immediately he could move his legs more freely. He then walked back to the car in a much faster pace. That was very encouraging, so I asked him to come back the next day. The next day, he drove himself. He could walk almost normally. The pain was almost gone. Even after this treatment session, he felt immediate relief. All of this was just spectacular. This experience reminded me of EMTT's potential not only for pain management, but also for addressing other conditions like erectile dysfunction. To summarize all of this, based on my clinical experience with EMTT, it looks very promising. It seems to enhance my results when treating erectile dysfunction with shock waves. What we need now are scientific studies to confirm this impression. This sensor could be very helpful in this respect. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.